Good morning, sleepyhead. It's good to see that you're waking up now. You fell asleep in my thighs, but not to worry, I went and got you some food. I have just a few drinks and stuff. Nothing too special. But don't worry, you don't have to eat it right now. You're just waking up, I know you're not really a morning person, so... But please, do drink some water. Drink up for me, okay? That's good. Okay. If you need any more, let me know. So, how are you feeling? You feeling sick or anything? Everything good? You're not cold, right? Good. If you are, I go get you some more blankets or something like that. I just want to make sure that you're safe. <laughs> you know? Of course. Nothing else matters to me. If not for your safety. <sighs> Honestly, I didn't really know what I was going to say to you today. Um, I got a little bit worried about it. <laughs> you know, I really care about you and all, but it's not always the easiest thing to do. I was a little high last night, not gonna lie. So I kind of forgot most of our conversation. I had to find a way to knock the nerves off just a little bit. I didn't take too much. I remember briefly what happened, but... It's not easy, you know? Opening up like that to you is probably the hardest thing I've had to do in a long time. Um... But I can't lie to you. I do love you and I want to spend more time with you. You're my darling, my love, my, hopefully, future husband. I'd kill to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm not gonna lie about that, but it's completely true. Also, your phone was also blowing up, but I handled that pretty, pretty, pretty quickly. I don't even really know what to say. I just... But you're really cute when you sleep. <laughs> I can't lie, you are. <laughs> no, you are. You fell asleep on my thighs after a short while, as I was running my hands through your hair, humming to you, and you just passed out. I know the ground isn't really the best, but it's just something that we have for now. I promise it will get better, and I'm sorry I was gone so long, I was actually, um, at, well, a little secret of mine, I was at church. <laughs> yeah, I don't really look like a church girl, do I? <laughs> no, um, I mean, I don't wear this cross for aesthetic now. It was given to me by my great-grandfather. He died a long time ago when I was younger. He meant a lot to me. <laughs> so I wear this in honor of him. But he always made me promise to go there whenever I felt like I was in a time of need or struggle, but not even just then, just whenever I felt like it was time to go home. It was a form of something to be dead. I know religion isn't for everyone, but it was just a small thing that me and him had. So I didn't really want to lose it, so I kept it. <laughs> Yeah, it's weird, right? Weirdly enough, my church actually accepts all my weird gothic type of style. It was unexpected of it, honestly. But they were really close to him as well. Even in death. <laughs> That's why I was gone so long. I mean, hey, if you ever do want to, you can come sometime. I really don't mind. It's your choice, um... Sorry, my voice is a little off today. I just, I've had a, a rough one. Well, it turns out that your parents are a little bit more trying to find you than I thought they would. Which is a surprise, and I suppose a good thing in a way, but... It's causing a little bit more stress upon me. 
Well, I know you might not want to stay here with me, and you might want to leave, but I can't let you. Well, first off, I refuse to spend the rest of my life in a jail cell, and third off, I... I can't be alone again. I mean, I know it's selfish, and I know I'm cruel for wanting it, but I don't think I can bear it. Not after you kissed me back last night. After you, um, after you kissed me, I, I knew for sure that I could never let you go. I could never let anyone hurt you or come near you. I know it's weird and it's different, but it's a part of who I am as a person. I'm always going to be weird and indifferent to people, but it's just a part of who I am. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Got a little bit of a sniffles or something like that. I'm sorry, I hope that didn't startle you or anything. <laughs> hey, come here. Mm. Your lips are so soft. I'm glad to be your first, honestly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit of a weirdo, but... I just can't keep my hands off you. You're getting me so flustered just by being here. It honestly kills me. I'm a little bit more tame now, but... That's cause I was kinda high. Uh, a little bit loopy, and I, and honestly, I thought most of it was a dream, I'm not gonna lie. You're not mad at me, right? I'm really sorry if I made you mad at me. I, uh, that wasn't the plan. I feel like my voice is a lot deeper than it should be, but then again, we did literally just wake up, so... Well, I've only been up for like 30 minutes, so... Oh, the church is literally just five minute walk from here. <laughs> yeah. Your face is so soft. I know this is weird. Usually it's the guy always kidnapping the girl, right? <laughs> Never really the girl kidnapping the guy. But... I don't care. I just... I want to be with you. I don't really know what there is to say about it, but... It's amazing. Being able to look at you and... Being able to hold you and getting so flustered whenever you're near. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> Come here. Just lie down for a while. Just with me. It's okay, you can have the food later. It's not gonna get cold anytime soon, and don't worry, if it does, we can get something else. I told you, I have a decent amount of money. That's one thing I didn't lie about. But we need to stay low for a while, and then we can go back to my house. <laughs> well, if you want to. I won't force you to stay with me. I won't. I don't think I can bring it upon myself to do that. I want you to stay with me by your own choice, but I do need to keep you here for a while until, you know, everything kind of blows over. You know, I'm trying. It's not always the easiest, but I do love you. Truly, I do. And I do hope that you can love me back. <laughs> I know last night you definitely did. Hmm. You're also drool when you sleep quite a lot. Well, I woke up and my thighs are wet. <laughs> and you were drooling, so, yeah. But I was happy that you slept well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's cute, don't worry, it's not anything bad. I like watching you sleep. Hmm. Is there anything that you want to do today? Well, or even tomorrow. I'm not really sure, just let me know later, whenever you feel like it. We can go do something, or have fun. I do have to take you to the new house, and we do need to watch your back, though. 
I kind of lied to you about a few things. Yeah, there's probably a lot of people that hate me right now. Hey, I'm not a com I'm not as completely innocent as you think. <laughs> Hmm. Of course. It's weird. Well, a few years ago we were on the council together and I suppose that's one of the ways my um, fascination of you came across. Honestly, I never thought you would ever have even liked me back. I was expecting you to be kicking and screaming all the way here. But you weren't. And that really makes me happy. There's not really too much to worry about, you know? Thank you for being here for me and not treating me like shit and like everyone else. For loving me for me. Even if you don't, I mean, in a way, I just feel like. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I don't want to start crying or anything, so I'm kind of just going to take a moment. Hmm. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. What is it that you like to do anyways? Yeah, see, I'm asking this, but I kind of already know most of it. Well, I keep a journal of sorts. You probably already caught me writing in it. <laughs> hey, I may have used your head just a little bit as something to write on. Well, I needed to. You were lying in my thighs and I wasn't going to move and disturb your sleep, so I'll just ride in your head. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's not really a big deal. Don't worry, you didn't wake up. Mm. Yeah? Well, I write down random things all the time. Sometimes just how I'm feeling. It was a thing someone told me to do once. When, see, I'm a very composed person. I'm very composed and I have to be, and most people don't see that. They see me as a fret all the time rather than what it is that I do. But the thing is, is I'm very composed when I want to be. And I really try my fucking hardest to do everything. And uh, even though I stutter a lot and I, I get mixed up in my words and I'm not the best at communicating... People still find a need to want to drag me down. Or hurt me. I don't know why, but people tend to do it. I think that's why I used to go to church all the time as a little girl. It was my outlet. I didn't know as much as most people would think that you knew about a religion, but... I got told I wasn't really accepted there and told to fuck off, basically, so I drifted away from religion for a very long time. And then I came back to it. It's not really important why they declined me, but it was just mainly because of family matters, I suppose, with the church. It's not a big deal, but... They couldn't accept who someone was, and they decided to take it out on the children, is the best way to put it. They took it out on me. They took away the only thing I had, the only thing that made me feel safe at the time. So I was alone and trying to find my own place. Every time I did find it, it would get ripped away just as horrible as the last. I have felt so alone for years. And I've tried to find a new outlet, a new source, a new person, and it gets so hard to breathe. It really does. And I just can't be bothered getting out of bed for the longest time. Waking up was a struggle, and then I met you. I'd done everything I could to look my best, to present myself in the best way, and not fall off the wagon like I did before. Taking my medication, doing everything right, even though it felt like I was burning from the inside out. And that's why I changed and most people noticed me. They didn't notice me as the fat bitch that everyone used to call me. Instead, they noticed me as this now e-girl or whatever the fuck it is they want to call me. 
skinny and, well, dummy mommy is what uh, most people would always prefer me to. Honestly, I didn't really care. I only cared about you. My looks didn't really matter to me, honestly. I feel like my voice is so messed right now. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Do you want any? Okay, that's good. Well, just let me know if you do. Hmm. I'm sorry. I don't mean to bore you with my backstory or anything really about me. I just... Uh, sometimes I get muddled up with it all. It kind of just messes my head. I never really know what to say anymore. Or everything just kind of gets a little messy. But it's okay. You know? It takes time and effort. Honestly, I don't really know who I am anymore. People constantly try to put everyone in a group rather than allow everyone to be an individual and I've always been put in those groups and those categories and everything like that. I don't really know what to do anymore. I don't really know how to fix it or anything like that. <laughs> what do I do? Do I just give in? Do I allow everything to fall apart or what? Because I don't know an answer to it, and I don't think I could give you one either. I don't think I could give anyone one. Everyone expects so much from me, I, I can't give it. I really tried. I gave my heart and soul to a bunch of people that didn't give two shits about me. And I don't know how to feel about it. People act like I'm some sort of a horrible person that has no care for other people. Instead, I'm someone that is constantly throwing herself into her work, into her life, into her people, and leaving everyone that she loved behind, or anyone she thought that she might just finally be happy with. And I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm asking you to please make me not have to do that. I really don't want to have to. I'm sorry, I am literally getting sick right now. This is killing me. I don't know. I'm gonna make some honey and tea later if you want some. It will suit my throat a lot better. Hmm. What is it that you want from life? I know that you probably overthink things like I do. That you think that this isn't what you want or you haven't lived enough to understand what it is that you want. Your first times, your everything. Before you settle down with one person and that's it all over. I know that you might think that it's all over but sometimes it's not. I get it though. It always happened to me as well. But what is it that you want in life? What is it that gives you freedom? Freedom of thought, freedom of moments and love and lust and everything that you want, anything that you desire. I know that life is so fucking hard and I know that everything falls apart. I know that even standing on the bridge of suicide and wanting to jump can also kill you inside, but I've been there so many times now and I still haven't died. People have hurt me in ways of, that I can't really speak of because my mind is so damaged <laughs> that I don't even know how to talk about it. No. 
how do I tell people everything that happened? I don't think I can. I do, I honestly, I've always felt more comfortable opening up to random strangers than I have my own family at times, but they're kind of just gone now. Even when I was with my family, I felt like I was living in a house full of strangers rather than people that were supposed to love and cherish me. Every single time I hug someone, I feel like I'm in an empty embrace of sadness and loneliness. I've always kept my arms open with a loving embrace, and sadly, they never accepted it. I was left alone, replaying a video of someone's voice and walking, watching them walk out over and over again. I have mentally tortured myself for over five fucking years, and I think that I'm allowed to be happy, right? I'm allowed to have something, even if it's someone, and I know it's selfish of me to take you. And I know it's selfish of me, and I know venting right now is not doing me any favors. I was probably just pissing you off at this point, but... I need you to understand that I'm not a horrible person. That I love you, and that I want to be with you for the rest of my fucking life. And I know it's a lot to ask, because it really is. I get it. And there's a possibility that we could be together and then fall out of love. I think sometimes that's more torturous than the last. There's so many things that you can achieve in such little time. So many mistakes and so many moments, but gone within the blink of an eye. You have these moments and you never live in them. Instead, you remember them and you dwell on it. I wish I could go back. To some memories, not all. Or maybe if I did go back to the ones that gave me trauma, maybe I could have changed the outcome. Ripped their fucking throats out. You know? Honestly, I don't think I'd be able to. I'm not strong enough anymore. I really tried. But slowly by slowly, I'm losing who I was. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing how to breathe. Do you know, that's the thing that always happens to me. I, I can't breathe around people. It's like one of my biggest anxieties. I get around people and I stop breathing. I get so paranoid about it or freak out or not know how to really do it right. I've tried so hard to build a career in this, but it's so complicated to do. Just a career in living, I suppose. Your face is so soft. And it's so weird even when I intertwine my fingers with yours. When you slowly squeeze, I can feel it and it's so different. I don't ever really get to feel it in in this moment when I know that you're really here. I can't ever really feel normal emotions. So when I'm hurt or when something hurts me like pain, physical pain, I feel that more than actually someone touching me. But with you it's different as I said before. I can actually feel you squeezing my hands and It feels fucking phenomenal. It's so different and so amazing. So beautiful. And it kills me. I can smell your scent even when you're sleeping and... I just want to spend or be with you forever. It's intoxicating how close you can get. I'm not going to be perfect, I already know that, but I want to be perfect for you. I want to show you the world, take you out, I want to be able to... (laughs) Your lips.
lips taste good. I love you. And sometimes I feel like those words are so overused in the society of the world that we live in, but I don't know how else to say it. My heart feels like it's ripping out my fucking chest whenever I see you. I get so flustered around you whenever you're near me. Even when you get nervous or shy or you feel like you're doing something wrong, it's so fucking beautiful. I can't get over it. Every time you hold me, you know you're taller than me because I'm like a little fucking midget, but it's still amazing. Even, even when you're in your sleep and you decide to go and slowly <laughs> squeeze my fucking thigh. <laughs> yeah, you do that, by the way. Pretty handy. <laughs> it's okay. I don't really mind perfectly fine. Honestly, it's cute. I never really had someone ever do that before, and I suppose most psychopaths that would kidnap someone would torture them to death or something, but I'm just <laughs> love deprived, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, you slept quite a long while, it's already night. But luckily, it's the 30th. Well, if the month, so. You know what that means. It's a full moon. <sighs> I love the moon, actually. Wait. Do you like the moon or anything like that? <sighs> yeah, you're right. Never really do get to see it much in a city, do we? Huh. Hey, if you want to, we can go there now. Well, if you want to go and see the moon, we can go get some food or some sandwiches or something. And I know this great little hilltop. You can go sit on and we can just look at the moon and the stars and just fall asleep together and talk about life. And then... After that, we can go to the new house. <laughs> we can maybe even decorate, I don't fucking know, something, just something different. It's up to you, I'll leave everything up to you. But if you want to, we can go now. I don't really mind. <laughs> of course. Well, the more time that I get to spend with you, the better. I just want to know one thing, and I want you to truly answer me, but do you love me? Do you think that you could ever truly love me? Not some high version of me, but me. It's okay if it's too soon to answer it, but I do wait for that answer. I'm really curious, and honestly... It kind of gets me a little flustered. <laughs> I do hope it's a yes, though. And I get that it can take time. I'll allow it to take time. I don't mind. Do you want to go? Yeah. Good. I want you to be by my side always, and I'm sorry for venting so much or talking about my life so much. I want to hear more from you next. <laughs> but of course, you're everything to me. I just want you to stay and maybe not ruin my life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, okay? <laughs>